Hello dear students. Our lesson today is a story lesson, The Secret Garden. Chapter 6. But before we start chapter 6, we need first to answer the common question on chapter 5. Comment on the following. I feel better. I like Mary. She makes me feel better. Who said these words? To whom? When? And what does this show? Okay. Colin Craven said these words to Dr. Craven, his uncle. Colin wanted Mary to visit him every day, but Dr. Craven said that Colin was ill and that he would get very tired. Colin told his uncle that staying with Mary made him feel better. This shows that Colin was getting better because of Mary. Now, chapter number six. Open your storybooks, page 21, and start reading with me. It rained all week. Mary couldn't go to the garden or see Deccan, but she spent every day in Colin's room. So, the whole week, Mary couldn't go to the secret garden, she couldn't see Deccan, and she spent all the day with Colin, speaking with him, talking with him in his room. You broke the rules, but Master Colin likes you, said Mrs. Medlock. He doesn't cry so much now, and he is feeling better. Now, even Mrs. Medlock realized, or she found also, that uh, Colin felt better because of Mary. Mary liked Colin, but she was careful not to tell him about the garden. He isn't Deccan, she thought. Can he keep my secret? Here Mary is speaking to herself. She didn't want to tell Deccan. She didn't want to tell Colin about the secret garden. She thought that he couldn't keep her secret, like her friend Deccan. On the first sunny day, Mary woke up very early. She put on her clothes quickly and ran to the secret garden. Deccan was already there with his friends, a little fox and a blackbird. Oh, good morning, Deccan, she said happily. I'm so happy you are here. Deccan smiled. This little fox is captain, he said, and the blackbird's name is Suit. That's nice. I've got news for you, too. I found my cousin Colin. Did you know about him? Now when Mary sees Deccan in the secret garden that day, she told him that she had good news for him. But well, what was this news? The news was that she found her cousin Colin. Yes, I'm sorry, but Martha and I couldn't tell you, answered Deccan. Is he very ill? He forgets about it with me, she said. The poor boy is always in bed. Maybe we could bring him out here to the garden, said Deccan. Now here, Deccan wanted to help Colin. He had a good idea for Deccan. What was this good idea? Yes. Very good. He wanted to bring he wanted to bring Deccan to the secret garden. That's a good idea, she smiled. We would like to see a secret garden. The two children had lots of work in the garden and Mary didn't go to Colin's room at midday. In the evening she found him very angry. Why didn't you come? He asked her. I was waiting for you. Now my back and my head hurt. Colin became very angry. 
fly. Yes, very good. Mary didn't visit him the whole day. She went to him only in the evening, and that made him very angry. He even felt that he isn't feeling well. I was working in the garden with Deacon, she answered. I will send Deacon away if you spend more time with him, Colin said angrily. Mary got angry too. If you do that, I will never come to this room again. You will have to if I want you to, he said. I won't, she cried. You are selfish. Now Mary and Colin are quarreling together. Colin became very angry because Mary didn't visit him the whole day. And he told her that if she doesn't stop spending a lot of time with uh, Deacon, he will stop him from coming again to this place or to this house. Mary was also very angry and she quarreled with Deacon. will have to if I want you to, he said. I want, she cried. You are selfish. No, I'm not, he said. I'm ill and I'm going to die. You are not, she said. You just want people to be sorry for you. Get out, he shouted and threw his pillow at her. I'm going and I'm not coming back. She shouted, I won't tell you about the garden or Deccan or his idea. Remember what was Deccan's idea or not? Yes, very good. They, he wanted to take Colin to the secret garden. Now Mary leaves the room very angrily and she decided not to come back to Deccan anymore and not to visit him in his room. That night, Colin's crying and screaming woke everybody up. It was awful. The nurse came running to Mary. Please, come quickly, Miss Mary. We can't do anything, but maybe you can. Now the nurse ran to Mary. She's asking for her help. Why? Yes, very good. Deacon was crying. And screaming very loudly, nobody could stop him, and they wanted Mary to go and give him a help. Mary was still angry with Colin. She ran into his room and shouted at him, Stop! You must stop, or we will all leave the house, and you will be all alone. I can't! I can't stop! he cried. I'm ill, and I will die. No, you won't, she shouted. You were always saying that, but it's not true. Colin stopped crying and looked at her. Do you really think I will live and grow up? Yes, she answered. If you go outside, you will get strong. Colin took her hands. I shall go out with you, he said quietly. Can you please stay and talk to me until I go to sleep? Mrs. Medlock, Martha and the nurse stood there with open mouths. Colin never said please, so they were all very surprised to hear that Deacon is saying the word that Colin, sorry, that Colin is saying the word please. It was a strange thing for him to say that. Now let's all revise the main ideas of the chapter. Number one, Mary didn't want to tell Colin about the secret garden. She thought that he could keep her, that he couldn't keep her secret like Deacon. Number two, Deacon wanted to help Colin and bring him out to the secret garden. 
Number three, there was a lot of work to do in the secret garden and Harry didn't go to Colin's room the whole day. Colin gets very angry when he knows that Mary spends a long time with Deacon. Number five, that night Colin screaming woke everybody up. And now we have to answer the following questions together. I've got news for you. A. Who said these words and to whom? B. What news did Mary have for Deacon? C. How did Deacon react toward this news? Okay, now who said these words? And to whom? Very good. Mary said these words to Deacon. What was the news? The news was that Mary told Deacon that she found her cousin Colin. Very good. How did Deacon react to that? Deacon was sorry for Colin. He felt very sorry for him. He told Mary that he and Martha couldn't tell her about Colin. Deacon said that they could bring Colin to the garden. Question number two. Mary let go of her anger and went, and went to help Colin in the middle of the night. What does this show or what does this indicate? What's the meaning of Mary let go of her anger? She was very angry with Deacon. But when the nurse, remember, when the nurse came to her and asked for her help, she went again to Deacon. She forgot everything about her anger and about her quarrel with her cousin, and she went to help him. So, what will be the answer? In the evening, Mary found Colin very angry. At that night, Colin's crying and screaming woke everybody up. Mary let go of her anger. She, she wasn't angry anymore. She forgot about her anger and went to help Colin in the middle of the night. Okay, what does this show? This shows that Mary was very kind and helpful. Don't forget to answer the rest of the questions in your story copybook. Thank you very much.